are back in the uh, wonderful greenhouse. There's some lettuce we're going to be harvesting tonight. There's some salads. And our zucchini is doing quite well. You can see some zucchinis in there. But today we're going to talk about cooling off your reservoirs. Here in San Diego and other places, you can get a couple quite warm days. And with these black boxes inside of a greenhouse, temperatures in there can get over 100. And that's a big no-no. You want to keep your root zones down to 75 range. Tops 80. So a couple ways you can keep your uh, reservoirs cool. Number one is by this reflective insulating. It's basically silver bubble wrap. I've been resisting the urge to pop them all. But you wrap your reservoirs. That one needs to be tightened up a little bit in this bubble wrap and that will kind of insulate it and keep it a little bit cooler. It comes from your hydroponic store, probably online. I'll look for it and add a link to the blog when I put the blog up. Um, it's about 250 or so a foot, but it's uh, two and a half, three foot wide, so it's not too bad. I bought 10 bucks or so, 15 bucks to do the three reservoirs, and I'm also going to put another piece over the lid, wrap cardboard with it, so I can. The lid can reflect off and keep it insulated as well. One of the other methods that help is uh, put your reservoirs on bricks. I hope that's not a leak. I actually cleaned my reservoir last this one last night and refilled it. I don't think it's a leak. I think I just sprayed from the tube. But anyway, put them up on concrete blocks. Um, concrete will help uh, conduct the heat away real well. And the ground is usually cool underneath it as well. Um, third way you can do it is actually bury your reservoir. Dig a hole, bury your reservoir into it because the ground gets cooler a couple inches underneath. So I didn't want to dig holes here into my greenhouse, but that's definitely a way to do it for outdoor reservoirs. And uh, another way it takes a little more maintenance here is uh, give your reservoir a nice popsicle. I got a bunch of these Perrier bottles because I love Perrier. But make my water bubbly. Fill them up with water and I rotate them in the freezer. So when it starts to get warm in here, I just pop a couple of these into the reservoir and uh, let them cool down. I'm going to top this reservoir off. And the last and most expensive way, which I am considering doing a homemade version, is buy yourself a uh, chiller. Uh, it's like an aquarium chiller to keep aquariums cool. It passes all your uh, output through the chiller and brings the temperature down about 10 degrees or so. so they can run 300 up to $1,000 a piece. So I am looking at some do-it-yourself versions, but when I read the cost efficiency and the way they operate, it'd probably be better off buying a real one. So that's it in the greenhouse today. Keep your reservoirs cool and keep your road zones cool. If not, what happens is, oh, I don't have a sample of it here yet because I fixed it. Um, it actually causes a thing called damping out. You can kind of maybe see it there. All right, there's a good sign of it. And this one's still going. Maybe I might be able to save it. Is uh, stems will look like they're pinched and dehydrated while the tops are fine and then they fall over and eventually die. It actually is a fungus so if you start seeing that uh, running uh, fungicide in your system you get rid of it. What I did last night is especially on this one here when I cleaned it out I ran a system of pure water and uh, I mixed in some hydrogen peroxide in there to clear, clear all the funguses out and bacteria ran it for like a half hour and then I'm trying out this new stuff called Hydrozyme, which is, you can run in the reservoir while it's running, and it's supposed to do a real good job of cleaning your roots out and keeping bacteria free and all that fun stuff. So once again, keep your root zones cool any way you can. That's the most, one of the most important part of hydroponics. Keep your reservoirs and roots nice and cool.